We are a culture drowning in our possessions. We take in countless items continually. Shopping, holidays, birthdays, that blue Amazon van that shows up on our door. And rarely do we find as much opportunity to discard of things as we do to collect them. And so as a result, our homes fill up with more and more stuff. Additionally, because we believe the best solution then is to find organizational tools to manage all of it, we seek out bigger containers or more efficient tips and tricks for organizing. But simply organizing our stuff is always only a temporary solution. By definition, organizing our possessions is an action that must be repeated over and over and over again. At its heart, organizing is simply rearranging. And though we may find storage solutions today, we're quickly forced to find new ones as early as tomorrow. Additionally, organizing without minimizing has some other major shortcomings that are rarely considered. For example, organizing doesn't benefit anyone else. The possessions we rarely use sit on shelves in our basements, attics, and garages, even while some of our closest friends need them. Organizing doesn't solve our debt problems. It never addresses the underlying issue that we just buy too much stuff. In fact, many times, the act of rearranging our stuff costs us more as we purchase containers, storage units, or even larger homes to house it all. Organizing doesn't turn back our desire for more. The simple act of organizing our things into boxes or bins doesn't turn back our desire to purchase more things. The culturally driven inclination to find happiness in our possessions is rarely turned back in any way. Organizing doesn't force us to evaluate our lives. While rearranging our stuff may cause us to look at each of our possessions, it does not force us to evaluate them, especially if we're just putting them in different boxes and closing the lids. On the other hand, minimizing, removing possessions from our home always forces questions of passion, values, and what's truly important to us. And lastly, reorganizing our stuff accomplishes very little in paving the way for other changes. Organizing may provide a temporary lift in our attitude, it clears a room and our mind, but it rarely paves the way for major healthy lifestyle changes. Our house is too small, our income is too little, we still can't find enough time in the day. We may have rearranged our stuff, but not our lives. On the other hand, the act of minimizing our possessions accomplishes many of those purposes. It's not a temporary solution that must be repeated. It's an action of permanence. Once an item has been removed, it is removed completely. Whether we resell our possessions, donate them to a charity, or give them to a friend, they are immediately put to use by those who need them. Removing possessions begins to turn back our desire for more as we find freedom and happiness and abundance in owning less and removing ourselves from the all-consuming desire to own more creates opportunity for life change to happen. So don't just declutter and reorganize, but de-own the items you don't need. You'll love owning less because owning less is always better than organizing more. If you're struggling with how to get rid of stuff, here are some ideas. Number one, start by removing as many duplicate items in your home as you possibly can. Number two, carry a trash bag from room to room and fill it as quickly as you can. Start a donation pile in a high traffic area and see how big you can make it. Number four, promise to take one trip to Goodwill every week with at least one bag or box. But remember, it doesn't matter so much how you remove unneeded possessions from your home as long as you do it.